Hello friends, welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today I am going to teach you how to work with the Capacitor Native Audio plugin. This is the plugin which will help us to play the audio within our application. And we are going to test it up in Android, iOS and even in Web 2. So all the things we are going to implement right now, so let's get started. There is a limited period offer that is going on in my courses. All the four courses along with that there is a template 2 that is also launched in Code Canyon. So friends, as you can see here, I have created a new project. This is the command which I have used to create a new project and this is a tabs layout which I have created using the Angular framework here. Now after this is done, what have I done? I am running Ionic serve here with the help of which we are able to run this particular project which you can see it in the browser as of now. So what exactly I am going to show here is basically when you click on the next tab right now if I am changing the tabs there is no sound here right. If I want some sound on click of a particular tab or change of a tab how can I do that? That is what we are going to implement in this particular video and for doing so I have already taken in my assets folder a sounds folder is created in within which I have notification dot wave. Let me just play it and this is how the sound is gonna be. Alright. So which plugin am I going to use in order to achieve the same? For doing so, I will be using Capacitor Community Native Audio plugin. And you can search on the internet regarding this Capacitor Native Audio and the first link you can open it. This is the one which you will get. Simply copy it and I'll go back and paste it here. Alright, this will be installed. Now what exactly we need to do here, just check it out. If I just scroll down, what this is what the preparation needs to be done for all audio places in specific platform folder. For Android, we need to place it within the Android folder, then the app folder, SRC and within the assets one. And for the iOS, within the iOS app app and the sounds folder within that. And in the web one, we have already placed in the assets one. So this is what needs to be done for the preparation part. And after that, how do we use it? Well, let's check it out here. Configuration is not available for web. All right. The rest things are available. Now, this is how we can use this particular plugin in which we have an option to preload the particular audio file. Now, how it helps us basically, if you have preloaded a particular file, then you can use it in your application pretty nicely. You don't have to load the file again and again. And for more information, you can simply read this out to understand it much better. All right, then this is how we are going to play a particular audio file. And if you want to loop it, then you have to use the loop function here. And what do what else do we have? You can stop also, you can unload also. You can even set the volume as per your requirement. And the value has to be between 0 0.1 and 1. Then you can also get the duration of the particular audio file then what is the current time of a playing audio file then whether the audio is playing or not everything you can check it here whatever it's given all right but i'm going to work only with the preload and the play function all right so let's try to implement this particular stuff here i'll copy it and i'll get back to the code and move towards the app.component.ts file this is a standalone project whether you're using an ng module one still Everything is going to be the same within the app one. You will get the app component TS file and within the constructor here, simply paste the code and we need to import it. This is the one it is imported now. All right. Once the importing is done, everything is good to go. Now this particular step will return a promise this preload function of type void. So you can keep it as it is. Or if you want, you have to pass await here, but for the constructor also you need to pass async. So that's completely your choice if you want to do that. Or you can make a separate function for it. Say like, let me just do it. Preload audio. This is the function and I'll paste it here. Make it async. This will be await. All right. And finally call it here. This dot preload audio function. So this is how you can work around with this particular stuff here. But but still we have not passed await here so it's not going to wait for the tabs page to be loaded. Anyways, we don't need that but just the functioning part needs to be done to separate the whole code in different pieces. Now let me go to the tabs page here. Now whenever the tab is going to change, I will play the sound. So in order to do that, let me have an identifier for this particular ion tabs called hash tabs and let me call an event here ion tabs did change 
in which I'm going to pass this particular function set current tab. Let me call it here set current tab. It will have an event of type, let's say any. All right. Now, if you if you want, you can log the event here in order to check the value of it. But what I actually want to do is I want to play the sound. And for doing so, let me call this particular function here copy and I will just paste it in a, another function play audio okay and paste the code here align it properly import it at first import it and this play function is also of type promise so if you want you can pass await async or async await fine and call this function here this dot play audio function if you want you can use async await here also but i don't want that since there is no other functionality to be passed after this so once that is done let's try it out we have preloaded the audio file and if you want you can just log everything and check it out now i'm getting an error somewhere all right it is giving an error in the native audio functionality now what is the error i'm getting here is not supported error the element has no supported source that's because the sound which i am calling here is different so where did i call it not exactly i need to go to app.component.ts file and change this id let's say the id to be notification any id you can just simply pass and this was not our file our file is Within the sounds folder, we have notification.wav file. Let me just show you. This is the one notification.wav file. So you need to pass a proper name and the audio channel number. Well, if you want to change, you can definitely change it. If you have one, more than one file, then it needs to be changed. And if it is a URL, then you can simply pass it to be true. But we are not passing a URL here. That is why I'm not doing so. Now, once that is done, let me copy this ID because we need to pass the same ID into the playing one. Otherwise, this will not get called. And yeah, just check it. It was just called. And even you can set the time also within the audio file at which time you want to start playing the file. Okay. Now, there is one issue which I'm facing here is that whenever this page is loaded for the first time, I don't want to play the audio. I want to play the audio whenever there is a change, right? So, what I can do here is let me have a property called is changed, is tab changed, and set it to false initially. Then, what am I going to do? I will cut this code here and we'll check a condition if is tab changed if it is true then what am i going to do i will play this file otherwise i will set it to true because if it enters the else condition that means the page has just loaded and for the next time i'm setting it to true so whenever there is a change again it's gonna work let's try it now i'll i will try to change the tab now and it is working just check it out and if I reload, I won't see any or won't heard any sound here. So this is a custom sound tabs which I have just prepared for you. And if you want to execute some more functionality, then you can simply look into this particular one and try it out. Remember to pass the same asset ID to make it work. And let's try now for Android and iOS also. For doing so, I need to call the command ionic build here to create the www folder. And let me stop the ionic serve for the time being. All right, this is created. Now let me add ionic cap add iOS. Okay, iOS added. Now it's time to add Android also. So ionic cap add Android. So both of them are added. Let's check it out. What exactly do we have within this? Do we have the sounds folder or not? So within the app, let's check it out. Where exactly do we need that in the preparation part? Let me scroll it and within the iOS app, let's check it out. This is the location. So within the app, we have another app and here I need to pass the sounds folder. So let's open it up in finder and I'll copy it from the assets one. Let me copy this and I'll go back to the iOS one app within the app one. And this is where I need to paste it. So it is pasted here. Okay, for iOS, it's ready, I think, isn't it? And for Android, within the app, SRC, then assets. Let's try that also. I'll just get back to the Android one, app, SRC, and this is where I think I need to pass. Well, at first, I would like to sh show you a few more stuff here. In my app.component.ts, well, I'm implementing async await along with the try catch block also. 
because if we face some error here say like the path is not the proper one or something else then we can fetch that and work accordingly here that is why it is important to use try catch also and then i am passing it directly in the constructor like earlier similar case i have done for the tabs page also i am using the try catch here too in case of any error and rest of the things is the same all right i'm just passing here a sync await for the gate current type also if you want to remove it then you can still do that because there is nothing else after this now the important thing here is the location i want to show you where exactly i'm passing it up so for the ios one within the app app and the sounds one which you have already seen but this notification.wav file if you are passing it directly in the folder one it might not exist in the actual one which is present here so you need to copy and paste it here like the way i'm going to show you right now just look at it so i'm going to drag and drop this particular one within the sounds folder here okay then it's going to work so you need to do the same for me it is already being done that is why it is not showing me up otherwise you could have seen the result okay so make sure you have this particular file with drag and drop if it is not showing up here once that is done if you run this up in ios it is going to work but we are going to test it later on one more thing i have done is the signing and capabilities so let me enlarge it within the app one and this particular app you go to signing and tap capabilities and pass a bundle identifier name and select a team if you don't have a team you can create one by going to add an account and just have a personal team which is free of cost you can create it if you're not going for publishing the application all right so i think you have got this particular stuff what we actually need to do for ios now one more important thing i would like to show you in the app.component.ts file which is the change that i have performed here so mostly for android and the web one just directly passing the name will work but for ios you need to pass sound slash and then the path that is notifications.wave that is what you need to remember that is why i am using capacitor.gate platform function where capacitor is imported here let me remove it so capacitor is imported from at capacitor slash core and i'm using the gate platform function which can take only three type of values one is the android ios or web so i'm just checking for ios if it is ios then i will modify the path that is why i've just passed it as a variable not as a constant rest of the thing will be the same just pass this path here that's it so i hope you have understood this particular stuff here now in the android one where exactly we need to pass the particular file let me just show you that also for android if i just go to the app one and go to the src folder i don't need to pass it here actually i need to go to main and within that we already have an assets folder there i have passed this notification.wav file okay not before the main one so you need to remember that that is the problem which you might face when you are working with this particular stuff because it is shown here android slash app slash src slash assets so you need to remember that src slash main you need to go inside the main folder then only it's going to work now let's try it up so i have already opened it up in xcode you can just go for it by hitting the command let me just stop this ionic cap first of all sync your project after making the changes all right read from disk so all the changes will be coming here now if i just go for this start button it is going to replace the application because i just used it earlier also now it is opened up and if i just click on tab 2 you see sound is being played so this is working for ios for web we have already seen i'll just show you once again for the web but let's try it for android also any cap open android syncing was done so we don't have any issue to work to worry about so in android one i have already selected this particular one this emulator let me hit the run button now and the emulator has opened up this is the application that is up and running you can see sound is being played here so and it is showing up in the assets one also so this is how we are working with the native audio using the capacitor one for ionic which we have implemented for android ios and web 2 for web also i would like to show you again using the ionic serve let's try it just to be on the safe side okay let me dock it properly and reload it once again now if i just click here just look at it it's working 
So for each and every one, it is working pretty nicely. We don't have anything to worry about. So rest of the functionality, which you can just see here, you can work with that as per your requirement, like the loop one, stop, unload, set volume or anything else. Okay. Explanation is already been given. So I hope you have understood how we have successfully worked with all the platforms here. All right. With this, we have come to the end of this particular video. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow. So thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time.